Hey everyone, now I'm going to show you how to make these free hand cut petals. As you can see, this was already done, but I'm going to show you how to finish, how to complete this black and white petal half hat that I'm about to make. See, I have made myself a straw base. If you want to know how I do it, please leave a comment down below. So this is what I'm gonna use. It's fall felt, craft felt, as others may know it. You can purchase it on Amazon, but I purchased it by the yard here in Jamaica. So I cut a strip however long you want based on the amount that you will need to complete the hat. So I'm cutting them up into squares. How wide is the square? That all depends on you. I like to freehand my work. That leans towards creativity, uniqueness, so no two hats are the same. And it's less tedious than to be measuring and cutting accordingly. I like to be freehand and creative when I am working. And so, to let it be easier and for me to do the cutting quite quicker, oh, so many alliterations, <laughs> right? I double the pieces because my scissors is able to cut two pieces at once. If you would like, you can get a template of Google or Pinterest and cut it out, cut a, what is it now? Cut a template of a rose petal, yes. That's a rose petal, a rose petal. Definitely that is it, a rose petal and you can place it on the felt and use that. Now I'm going to glue on these petals. So as you can see, I'm using black and white. So the pattern is black, then white, then black, then white. So now my next color is white. Yes, I'm having a little trouble with the glue gun, but hey, that's a part of it. So you ensure that you put enough glue at nearest the edge of the petal, the shape, whatever shape you want. You can probably get another shape and cut it for your own uniqueness, right? Next now, I will be placing a black one. I had pre-cut the black ones. And as you can see, there are different sizes. When you look at a flower, when you pick a flower from a tree, right? Or it's bush. You don't see the flowers looking symmetrical. And so there's no need for everything to be cut perfect or equal. Creativity, it's unique to you, the maker. So whatever style that you believe, you know, it's a hit, you try it out. There are many persons who would love your difference, your uniqueness and creativity. So not because I cut it a particular way means you have to. Always know that you need to put your own uniqueness to whatever you received as inspiration. And so I am now cutting out another set of petals. Yes. And I must stress on the uniqueness. Stress on being you. Don't copy. Use other person's work as inspiration. Right? And put your own uniqueness to it. That's what makes you stand out. Being different. Being uniquely you. When it comes down to fashion, people want something different and if I am always making hats like someone else why would they want to come to me right they want your uniqueness your creativity 
So always remember that that's the most important. And when you're doing something that you love, oh my God. When you are doing something that you love, it doesn't feel like work doing it. So ensure that this that you're doing, it, it takes a lot, yes. But ensure that this is something you enjoy. Because if you want to do it as a business, it's going to be tedious. And so this is the final look, the final look. Well, not really the final because I am going to treat you guys on how I would trim this hat. I placed all the petals and now I'm going to put veiling and a bow on this hat. Yes, and I have to have a little bling too. So see, I'm going to scrunch up the veiling like that and then put the veil put the bow the bow I put the bow on it <laughs> all right so here it is I am using plastic thread right and this is what I use so that I don't have to be changing thread colors each time so I am gathering this the, 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 the veiling with this plastic thread and needle all right you gather it in the middle you may not be perfect in, in whatever you're doing, symmetrical, but be as close as what you want as possible. So when I gather the, the, the veiling, then I'll ensure that it's knotted and positioned on the hat where I want it to go. Yes, so here I am using up my pins to help me secure the veiling in place so that I can tack it properly and that it doesn't shift or move out of position. So here I am making a bow, looping it three times so that I have a simple, simple bow because the black and white is already a bit fussy. You don't want too much going on on the top of the hat. So a simple three loop bow is enough. And then I will use the excess that I just cut off and wrap it around the belly of the bow. You should minimize the amount of raw 
edges as possible the least amount means that the hat is more valuable and has a better finish Yes, so you position the bow where you would like and then you move around the veiling so that you can have it in the neatest position as possible. You want when a client sees this hat, they say, wow, the neatness, the time that is taken to create the hat. You want to ensure that they want to buy this hat you don't want to have the hat on the display forever it's not a mannequin so you take as much time and effort as possible to make the hat looking lovely and unique and again use up your pins use up your pins use up your pins it will help you that's why they were created So using the same plastic thread and needle, I am tacking the bow down on the hat so that it is secure. Some persons use glue if you're able to use it and 
it's not showing and it's done neatly then go ahead you use what works for you So yes, we're doing the final touches. I have to see that this feather looks gorgeous. Yes, I like the way it lays. It's you know that diagonal cut on the face always gives women that elegant look. And here is the rhinestone. I'm going to put this link for this rhinestone in the description. It is so beautiful, and it's a little bit costly. So you have to use it sparingly as trimming for your hats and so I usually measure up to see how wide I would need it and so when I cut yes you cut sparingly and there is a backing on it as well that you have to peel off or else it will not stick to the hat it has a stickiness it has a sticky backing an adhesive However, it's not secure enough. So along with that adhesive that it comes with, I always use a little hot glue to ensure that it doesn't fall off. And so this is the final touching for the hat. Thank you so much for connecting with us and watching. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Remember to subscribe please so that others can see this video and be inspired as well. If you have any questions, anything that you would like for me to create a video about, any tutorial, send us a message down in the comments below. We'll read it, we'll respond, and we will do our best to assist you.